happening in the tails yeah are very very small okay if the distribution okay is centered on 55 okay so if the probability of observing something in here is small if this is true okay well the probability of us observing something in here okay okay would be large if the distribution wasn't centered on 55 and was actually centered around 30 to 40 okay now what we do is we randomly select from our populations okay and the random selection okay through random selection okay uh, what we'd more than likely see happening yeah if this was the case okay if we were to randomly select from this particular population here okay well what would more than likely happen is that as i randomly select i would more than likely observe people between 50 and 60 or between 40 and 70 rather than observing somebody between 30 and 40 simply because there's more people in this in this particular area of the curve okay that's if the mean was positioned on 55 okay now if i observe something that's in the tail okay something that has a very very small probability okay well what we're really saying is this is that through random selection okay we'd more than likely see something like this through random selection and its probability should be relatively high so this is evidence to suggest that our distribution isn't centered on 55 and more than likely is centered on a different value that would give us a higher probability for what we've observed and this is the crux or the logic uh, behind our hypothesis test okay uh, our hypothesis test once again has two positions okay it has a null position in this case I'm assuming that the population from which I'm randomly selecting from has a mean value of 55 if this was the case well then when I randomly select from from when I randomly select from the from the population okay I wouldn't expect to find a value between 30 and 40 I'd more than likely expect to find a value between 40 and 70 okay if this was true okay whereas on the other hand okay if I do randomly select from the population and I find someone between 30 and 40 okay I'm more than likely uh, have we more than likely have a distribution okay that's centered on 25 okay which is evidence to suggest that our hypothesis uh, that the distribution was centered on 55 is actually incorrect okay and this is where our test statistic comes into play okay our test statistic and let's just assume that we're we're dealing with a t-test okay so if we're dealing with a t-test our test statistic our test statistic okay our test statistic uh, is t is equal to x bar minus mu over s over the square root of n okay so what's happening with the test statistic is this is that we have a particular hypothesized position of our distribution that we hypothesize through our null hypothesis we go off and we capture a piece of evidence our x bar our sample evidence and we calculate the distance between our sample and our hypothesized center of our distribution okay so the further this sample is away from our, our hypothesized center, don't forget, when we take two numbers away from each other, we're calculating the distance between them. So the numerator in the t-statistic is telling us how far our evidence is away from our hypothesized center of our distribution. So the larger this value is, okay, the more likely that our evidence falls into one of our tails. And things that happen in the tails have a very very low probability of occurring okay if this is true okay so our test statistic calculates how far our distribution is our hypothesized distribution is away from our evidence and it calculates that in standard units so the larger the test statistic okay the larger the test statistic the more evidence to suggest that we're in the tails of the distribution okay so our distribution has a center value the larger our test statistic if our test statistic falls into either one of these regions here 
okay we say that there's uh, sufficient evidence to suggest that our distribution is not centered on this particular value okay or not centered on the uh, on the hypothesized uh, center of our population okay so guys I don't know whether that was uh, helpful hopefully that helped to demystify the logic of a hypothesis test uh, the next video was going to do a hypothesis test it's going to do a single sample test uh, so once again thanks for your time uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland